Hey everybody, welcome to Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben. I've actually been waiting five minutes to record this video because my dogs have been barking nonstop. I've just been sitting here. So you may hear some barking in the background. They stopped, but they could start just like that, son. Okay, so today we're going to look at the end of the game between Parha Maksudlu and Max Warmerdam from the Tata Steel Tournament, which just ended recently. Uh, this was round nine, and there go the dogs. Um, it's a 13-round tournament, so this was, you know, near, you know, middle to end of the tournament. Um, Maksudlu's white, uh, he wasn't having a good tournament. And this position's really interesting. Material's equal. Black's been better or winning for most of the game. And in this position, white just took a pawn on f7. So now everybody has lots of passed pawns. And what white wants to do is white wants to play rook f8 and rook a8, which leads to checkmate. So if black like queens is pawn, then white will play rook f8, and rook a8 is going to be checkmate. After bishop a7, you take it. So warmer dom said, I have an idea. I'll stop rook f8, and I'm already stopping rook a7. And he played the move bishop c5, which is excellent move okay and in this position uh maksudlu played the only move that gives him any chance at all now if two engines are playing then black wins okay black is winning but you know when you're losing you don't just give up i mean maybe you give up but you shouldn't so maksudlu played the best move rook c7 and the idea of rook c7 if it's white's move, white can take the bishop. And white also wants to play rook c8, rook a8. Okay? And the dogs don't agree. They're barking and barking. Terrible. Okay. So black played the move a2. And now if you take the bishop, then I queen. And then black's up a queen, and black's winning. Probably shouldn't say that based on the rest of the game. Okay. So white played the move I earlier said rook to c8 okay i wonder who let the dogs out man if i sing any of that song i'll get in trouble okay so again black can't queen because rook, rook a8 is, is is mate okay black played the best move here king a4 so not only stopping the rook a8 idea but the king can come to b3 and protect the pawn okay well white needs to get some counterplay because you know, black's queening the ape one. So black, white played e6. Excellent move. Okay, again, if we queen, then, then rook check and the rook takes the queen. So we can't do that. In this position, Warmer Dom blundered. He went from winning uh, to not winning. There's two winning moves. King b3, which is the second best move, and bishop a3, which is the best move. And after bishop a3... White can't play rook c1 because, you know, you take it. And rook check does nothing, king here. And the engine actually says that white should play rook c3. And the idea is if you take, the knight takes, and the knight takes the pawn. So the engine says queen, rook takes, and black is plus five. That's what the engine says. Okay. So bishop a3 gives black a winning position. Warmer down blundered. He thought he was winning. He played rook a3. Same idea. We'll make a queen. And unfortunately for Warmer Dom, after rook takes c5, which was played quickly by Parham because he, he realized what was up, and black queened, he quickly played e7. And surprisingly, confusing the audience, this position is not winning. This is a drawn position. This is an equal position. Uh, even though black is a queen up and white is not threatening to promote because queen e1 check wins the queen, the engine still says all zeros because black can't organize the pieces to stop white from eventually promoting the pawn with something like either knight c7 or rook c8 and then promote the pawn. Okay, so now black has to start playing for a draw but probably he didn't know that. You know, he like he has up a queen. So, you know. 
Okay, so he blundered and made a losing move. Queen h8, uh, stopping the pawn from queening, overlooking Parham's next move. You can pause the video and see if you can find Parham's next move. And we're back. So in this position, Parham immediately saw the winning move, but he was double and triple checking. You could, you could tell he was very excited. And he played rook c8. And that wins the game. Now, if you take the rook, I check, you move your king somewhere, I take your queen, and I'm going to promote all my pawns. All kinds of pawns are promoting. Um, after rook c8, the, the game's over. White's winning. So like five moves ago, black was winning. Then three moves ago, it was a draw, and now white's winning. So he played queen h7 check, f5, black is out of checks. White's going to promote. Played rook g3, white promoted. He took the pawn with check. He played, and then he resigned here. If he plays uh, queen g7 check, I think that's the only check, then king d6, and there's no more checks. And white's up a knight, and, and white's winning. Black's king is going to get mated soon. So that was a terrible ending for Varmerdom, but it was very exciting for the spectators. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time with more 5 Minutes with Ben. Bye.